It's like, relax. Have a bit of fun in your day. Oh yeah, it's that time. Cycling, let's do it. This place is just so stunning. Look at the sky. Not a cloud in the sky. Get on the bike, banana bays. Woo! What do we got here? <laughs> So this is my future vision board where I'm going to put all my dreams and it actually took me ages to get this wrapper off like half an hour and I put some double sided glue on it so I could stick it on the wall because I didn't want to paint like sorry draw on the wall because we had to paint like three layers over the wall so I decided to put like the board up and there's Ness helping me and it's great the result is awesome Hindsight is bleeding, oh, and your heart's bleeding, and all you can see is red. Till you discover it is within each other to forgive and make amends. If I had known then, or what I know now, I wouldn't have said what I said. I took the long road, thought I'd be better on my own. Sometimes what's right is wrong instead. Bunnings. What are we getting? Some plants and I'm getting a vision board. Yeah! I'm getting a vision board. All your board. dreams and visions. Put all my dreams. Sounds good, mate. Let's do it. So I want a creeper for my, my bathroom glass separator. Yeah. So it just creeps all over it. It's gonna look really cool like a, a forest when creeper, you have a shower. Creeper in the bathroom. Creeper in the bathroom. <laughs> I've always wanted a creeper in the bathroom. <laughs> Let's see if we can find him out here. <laughs> So these are going to creep up, hopefully creep up the um, the glass in my shower recess, in my bathroom. Be pretty crazy. I'm going to put some wire or something up there so they can creep up it and just cover the whole glass. So this is the sort of thing that we don't eat. Okay. We don't eat animals and we don't want any cholesterol and saturated animal fat and all that shit. It's not meant to be anybody. So we're getting some whiteboard pens. Yeah. yeah, he's gonna be good for our whiteboard. Put our dreams, all our hopes and <laughs> goals and aspirations. Is it a little bit? Of... Quite a bit of stuff in there. It's yeah, little, veggie pod. The amount of stuff they got in there. Yeah, I think it's pretty. It's pretty well. I mean, when they planted this, they didn't plant it not that long ago. Yeah, uh, it was only small. Really? Small seedlings from over there. Yeah. Good, good soil. Yeah, getting a lot of love. Do you want to be in the picture? Easy, Easy house, house, here we, we come. come! Yeah! Rice paper roll. Oh! Hey, what do we got? Let's take it down. Take it down. Oh! We got mushroom. No, we don't have oh mushroom pots. Asparagus. Asparagus. Oh my god, <laughs> this one's really hot. Yeah, that one's coriander. That's oh. coriander. What's that? That's some like bean curd roll or something. Okay. Okay, so we've got these little creepers here. So I'm hoping little creepers creep up the glass, but obviously I need to have something on the glass, like some wire or something that they can grip onto. So I'm just imagining it covering like this glass of just beautiful plantation you know what i mean i want this to be like a forest in here there's plants everywhere it's gonna be so amazing it's already coming along very good hey banana babes so i was just talking to ness about the whole clickbait topic and it is amazing how riled up some people get they get their panties in a twist and they get so angry about the title of a video it is amazing like it's it's crazy how much energy some people direct into something that is so meaningless at the end of the day 
And, you know, for me, I'm always like, this is crazy. It's like, welcome to YouTube. That's what we do here. We bait you to click on our videos. We actually want you to click on our videos. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to get people to click on my videos because I want to show the vegan lifestyle. I want to show you know, me thriving on it. I want to inspire girls, particularly all around the world, to jump on this lifestyle. And then you know what? Save animals' lives lives, save their own life, ultimately save people around them and save the planet. Like those are the things, those are the three things that are the most important to me. So, you know, when it comes to the title, yes, I'm going to, you know, maybe exaggerate sometimes, but it's always going to be related to the content. I always do that. I'm not just lying in the title. No, I'm relating the title to the content. And it's kind of fun. You know, have fun with it. You know, some people are just so like tense and like, oh, you're a horrible person. I'm going to unsub because of the clickbait. It's like, relax, have a bit of fun in your day. Don't attach so much strong emotion to something that is really so meaningless. You know, have some fun with it and think, hey, like, I know there's a lot of you who do. I know there's heaps of you who are relaxed and calm and chill and who do this. You know, you'll be like, oh, I wonder what she's relating the content to the title this time. I wonder what it's about. And they love it. And to you guys, I think you're amazing. I think it's so cool that you can just be chill like that and have fun. God, who doesn't want to have fun in life? So yes, I have a bit of fun with the titles. So sue me, but it is for a good cause. It is to spread an empowering message. And yes, I'm always going to do it. So if you don't like it, then, you know, you can leave. It's okay. I'm not going to hold you here. I'm not going to hold a gun to your head. It's all right. You're allowed to go. So I just wanted to talk about the whole clickbait thing and just how, just how silly, how emotional some people can get about it. I see in the comments, I'm like, God, oh, calm down. You know, this is not like, you know, like the world is coming to an end or anything like that. Anyway, yeah, just direct your energy into things that matter in your day. I'm sure you have a lot of other things that need that nerve energy that you are giving to something that's not important. Okay, inspiration station. Let's see what we have. Bam. He played five aces, now he plays a harp. We already did this one. Humor. No, 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 we have to go for another. What are the chances? Not the front. Procrastination is a thief of time. Yes. There are hundreds of pages in this book concerning self-esteem. Some encourage thinking, others acting, others understanding. Yet all that thinking, questioning and understanding will be useless to some people. Useless because they're facing a major decision that's blocking their progress. Until they're willing to take action, all the insight in the world isn't going to help. Any work on self-esteem while we're acting out in addiction or an affair or staying involved in some ongoing dishonesty like a dead relationship will bear little fruit. Interesting. Preparing to make drastic decisions can, of course, take time. And any effort made to get to the frame of mind where the decision can be made is valid. But let there be no confusion as to why we don't feel better about ourselves. The problem is us and our unwillingness to act. Postponing my decisions often postpone my relief. Wow, that's cool. Yes, procrastination is a thief, massive thief of time. I know people who have done like a thousand self-development seminars, you know, like they know everything, they've like learned it, they've lived it, or oh, lived it as in like lived it through the seminar, they've like learned everything, but they haven't taken action on it. You know, they've paid thousands of dollars to do these seminars, but they haven't stepped up and actually applied them to their life and made shit happen. So at the end of the day, it's about making shit happen, you know, doing it, just stepping up, having a go and, you know, not having that fear of whatever's going to happen, you know, rejection or whatever. It's just having a go. That's all you can do. Stop procrastinating. It's a really, really good lesson for sure. I mean, it's like when I used to be a personal trainer and people would, you know, come and buy like a 10 pack off me, you know, then pay the money. But some people wouldn't even turn up, even though they paid the money. They they kind of have this um, thought of, oh, I paid the money. You know, it's going to I'm going to get the results from paying the money. No, you've got to actually take action. You've got to take action. You've got to come to the gym. You've got to do the training session. You can't just pay for it and think that you're going to get results from just paying for it. So anyway, that's a great one. That is a really, really great lesson today. 
inspiration station. All right, I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Love you guys. Leave any comments you have down below. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoy these vlogs and you wanna see my vision board and I will see you tomorrow.